with no PG and Kawhi, you're able to see, you know, a lot of uh, minutes for some of your young guys. What was your thoughts on the minutes that you were able to get from like Bones and uh, uh, Brandon there? Yeah, I thought they did a good job. Just their pace, their activity, um, playing hard, scrapping and competing. I thought they did a really good job. You know, all of our guys coming off the bench, you know, did a really good job of just, you know, being in the fight, you know, scrapping and competing. And um, we love to see that. Sorry, when you don't have Kawhi and PG and they have Dame and Giannis playing like that, how difficult is that for your team to overcome? No, those two guys, I mean, they're great players. You know, we understand that. And, um, you know, they had, they had a good game. You know, I thought Dame set the tone early, you know, um, scoring the basketball, a couple threes, and then took over the game late. And so, you know, once he got going, it was hard to stop him. We tried to blitz, we tried to fire, tried to do some different things, um, but he had it going and made some big shots. And coach, uh, you took Bones out with about seven minutes left, didn't come back with him until late. Was there a specific reason why you didn't come back with him in, in that seven minute stretch when he was playing so well, hit a big shot, put you guys up too? Yeah, I brought James in. Okay. And it's for- Anything else? What's that? Yeah, I brought James in. Okay. And we were small on the floor, so I had to, you know, we no, had to get curious. bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm just curious too. He played well. Okay. Yeah. And as and as far as um the Dame the Dame to Giannis uh, pick and roll, when he when he's hitting shots like that, he had 16 of his 35 in the fourth. What 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 went into that? You want were you trying to blitz him when he came off? Because it seemed like yeah. he came off. It was nobody in front of him. Yeah, we wanted to blitz, and then they had the the movement into the action, which was kind of hard for Zuda, you know, try to get to him, but. We try to blitz, we try to be able to touch, um, and they, they, they uh, beat us with both coverages, so they play well. Sorry, without Kawhi and PG, what are the positives you take out of a game like this? I mean, obviously, guys get more minutes who normally wouldn't, but what are the positives you take out of what you saw? Yeah, just seeing our young guys get an opportunity, like I said, Bones and Brandon, you know, playing well. PJ starting, bringing that physicality, I thought he played well as well. Um, just getting different looks and just seeing, you know, different players as we go into the playoffs. and. It was good, good to see our young guys get on the floor and get a chance to, to play in a big game like this. And, um, you know, hopefully we can build from that. Ty, your thoughts on PJ's play tonight? Yeah, I thought he was physical. I thought he brought some toughness. I think he had four offensive rebounds, uh, took his open shots, you know. And it's hard to, to make shots when you haven't played in a while to, to be in a rhythm. But taking his open shots, I thought he brought a physicality that we needed. And I thought he did overall, I thought he did a decent job. You mentioned earlier you guys wanted to be up closer to touch against Dame. Um, specifically, there was, a, I believe, a point in the second quarter where Dan Craig was on the sideline telling Daniel to like he needed to be up closer and not play drop as much. That balance of when to play drop versus when to come up to touch on the screen, like how tough is that against a guy like Dame? Um, it's tough because he he's fast enough to drive around to have to touch you know, with bigger guys. And then when you have to touch, you know, you get into Giannis you know, in the short row in the pocket to make a play. So. Um, just picking and choosing when you want to do it. Try to keep them off balance, give them different coverages. Um, but like I said, both coverages tonight, they, they really hurt us. Is, is Zeus starting to get his conditioning back into a good rhythm now? And what's going into that for him? Yeah, I think so. You know, just, you know, first of all, hurting his calf. You know, took him a while to get back. And then right when he got back, getting sick, missing those two games. Um, so, you know, hopefully he can start to build. I thought second half of yesterday's game was really good. And then... Um, you know, today I thought he was he was he was really good. You know, for the whole game. So hopefully we can continue to keep building off this. Hopefully he's feeling better, and he can start you know getting his time and everything back. Yeah.